some Christian pastor, I think his name is Pastor Lyle, seems to have talked about uh, Thanksgiving and how important it is to be thankful for things. And obviously, given that he's a pastor, he also talked about how important it is to be thankful to God for all the good things in our life. And Edward Tart replied to that saying that as an atheist there are obviously many things that he can be thankful for and many people that he can be thankful to but obviously he'll only be thankful to rational thinking beings and not to some imaginary friend in the sky. That's uh, all good and well and dandy, of course. Uh, and as an atheist, of course, I agree. However, I would like to take it one step further. You see, I think there often is, I, th I think many people labor under the misconception that uh, being an atheist implies uh, an awful lot of things actually uh, like for example believing in evolution uh, like being a rationalist uh, and among other things I think many people especially Christians labor under the, under the misconception that being an atheist means to be void of spirituality which is odd to say the least given that uh, there is at least one major world religion that is in most of its variants deeply atheistic uh, and at the same time I would say deeply spiritual uh, I guess you have guessed by now that I'm talking about Buddhism here but also quite apart from that if Christians say that the only real spirituality is one that includes the idea of a God then I would like to answer that the only real spirituality is one that excludes the idea of a God And I believe there are good reasons for that. I will uh, come back to this later. Let's talk about thankfulness. Obviously this Thanksgiving thing is a, quite a big thing over uh, in the US. Uh, here in Europe we just don't have it in this same way. But of course I believe thankfulness is a good thing for several reasons and I think we should name those reasons here one reason is that there simply are a lot of things that happened to me that are good that people did to me that were beneficial to me that helped me grow and and become the person that I am now and that I myself have not caused such as the simple fact of my birth, such as my upbringing, my, my education for which I'm deeply thankful, um, the fact that I can walk although I'm a spastic diplegic, my mother has a huge part in that and I'm deeply thankful for that, my th therapist obviously has a deep part, has a, a huge part in that there are lots and lots and lots of people who contributed to my well-being to a very large degree friends family work bodies even my my ceo my boss um, basically my my my, my main customer uh, since i'm a freelancer uh, he makes it possible that i will have a very good time uh, in my holidays uh, around around uh, Christmas 
So I can be thankful for that. Okay, obviously. And why is this a good thing? Well, obviously being social animals, humans have developed certain kinds of feelings that uh, are beneficial to them and other kinds of feelings are not so beneficial. Like anger probably isn't so good in the long, in the long run. And thankfulness just seems to be one of those positive feelings that give you strength really. Being thankful is actually an act of being strong. It gives you more strength, it gives you more power. And I figure that this is a good thing, not only because I feel better, but, but because I personally happen to believe that happy people are probably more prone to doing good things to other people. Happy people are more beneficial to society as a whole. So I have a deep interest in having happy people around me uh, and being happy myself. And that is one very important point uh, that we should never underestimate. It's not selfish to strive to be happy. It is uh, good for yourself and it is good for your environment. Ultimately, it is, it is not only good for our human environment, ultimately I think it will also be good for the environment at large because if you are happy then probably you do not need that expensive uh, car that is devastating to the environment. So it's a good thing for everyone and everything really. Now, I believe when Christians say that this is all good and well but something's missing, the thankfulness towards God is missing, they seem to be talking about a very specific feeling that obviously as an ex-Christian myself I know. Um, there seems to be a difference between the feeling of thankfulness towards a real person and the feeling towards something larger than ourselves, some uber entity, some godlike being, some god. And now here's the deal. This is a really interesting part. As human beings, we have imagination, right? And we can do with that imagination whatever we pretty well please because it's our own imagination. And as long as I do not confuse my own imagination for the real thing, it is perfectly valid and fine to imagine whatever I pretty, pretty well please. So, it is absolutely possible for example, to imagine that all those coincidences, all those myriads of causes that led to my birth are a, a, an anthropomorphic person-like being that consciously took a decision to make it happen so that I am here today. 